So these girls are in about a five frame nuke going on here and they've got the thing pretty full, which is because they turned up as a bigger swarm. And so it's time for them to find a bigger home. So if you come in close, you can see, see what I'm talking about with, you can see the bees on the fold up, like up the top until we pull them up. You won't be able to see it so easy, but you can see the bees filling up the frames. So you can get a fair judge. There's basically only this last little corner here that they haven't filled in. So they're all working away happily, wondering what these bloody polar bears are thinking, but they, they'll be happy to see us once we rehouse them into a bigger house. Then they can make more babies and then they go poof and explode and become useful. Just as a sidebar, now that you're starting to get into summer, just be aware that technically, well not technically, just be aware that when you've got your smoker lit, we, at the minute we're here in this long grass and it's not too bad because we've had a rain just the other day, so things are a bit damp. But just be a bit cautious when you're out in your blooming apiary or especially if you're in someone else's farm and you've got dry grass and you've got stuff going on, just be aware if it's a total fire ban, you're not allowed to have your smoker on at all. If it's, a, it's not a total fire ban, just be bloody sensible. Don't fit a set fire to the blooming, you know, the farmer's fields that you're in. Otherwise, you give us all a bad rap. So a supply of water and a wet bag or a knapsack, or hell, if you're wealthy, you could have a couple of fire extinguishers. I can't, you know, stretch the budget to that, but you know, a couple of nap a knapsacks good, a wet bag's good. Just make sure, and the main thing is, just put your bloody smoker out or put it in a tin and take it home. Don't tip your ash on the ground, for God's sake. <laughs> just a bad idea. Not that I know, believe it or not, I'm not speaking from experience. I haven't set fire to anything. I've just seen some, <laughs> I've seen some very bad reports. And your landowners will get really shitted off with you. Just have a bit of a look what's going on. Hopefully we've got some boxes in here still. If I can find the right key, that'd be good. <laughs> One good thing about these bee suits, at least they keep the flies off your face, as well as the stings out your ears. This is not the easiest door to get open. I think the paddock's moved. Oh, oh, Struth. Oh, this is a stable little doorway. We've got a bit of an ant infestation as well. I reckon one of these boxes will be fine. But I reckon these are the boxes we picked up not so long ago. Well, not these lids, these boxes here on here. So I reckon we'll pop them in there. Our little newt box will be happy in there. They'll have some room to move. They can make some new babies. And then when they get too full on there, we'll pop a super on the top. And if we're really lucky, we might even get some honey. Whew. Then you might be lucky and you can get some of that honey. But at the minute, it's a bit hard to come by. Chuck these out of the way, I think. I'll pop these over here, because these are the to be done lids. <laughs> so depending on how we go for time, we might be able to take some more of this back home to fix it up. Give it a bit of a paint, a bit of a, bit of a lick up. Then we can bring them back and get them all full of bees and they can be all happy. Do you reckon ants and bees are related? Because you know, they do act a little bit similar. They all get very excited when it's gonna rain. I know that much for free. So, <laughs> get, off, get off. I'm glad they can't sting me. What have we got going on? So I don't think ants are actually all girls, are they? I don't really know. I wonder if anybody, just imagine that, being an ant apologist and trying to sex. <laughs> I mean, hell, look how big they are. Imagine how big their organs would be. It's like, oh, shit, tell what. How would you tell? All right, yeah, anyway. Ah, ramping on. I've got a few frames that we left here. Where do we got five in that box? So we got six over there. So we should only need five miles from there into there. Put the brood in the middle, the new frames either end, lid on the top, and away they go. Be like a blooming build on, wouldn't it? You know, imagine when you come home, what's that crazy show, um, Renovation Rescue, when you come home from your holiday and you go, oh my God, I've got a sunroom and a parlor and oh, and the girls have got a bedroom each and oh, look at this, holy dooly dooly. The field bees will be flying back home going, man, look at the work we've put in. You see, you put in girls and you get a house extension. It's all good. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll power on. <laughs> Do you think that's how that'd go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll pop these in there because I think that's all we're going to need because we've got five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, perfect. That right, and a lid. Maybe I'll make you carry it because it's all covered in little ants. You feel like bitten, getting bitten? <laughs> yeah, that looks nice. Roll it on. Oh, goodness gracious. It's a bit of an obstacle course, isn't it? 
<sighs> at least it's not crazy hot. <sighs> oh, oh, crap. <laughs> That'll be alright. Now I just need a little hive tool so we can pluck this apart a bit gentle. Uh, Got to be in here somewhere. Huh. It's one of my turbocharged long ones, but I only want the little short one for this project. So we'll use that one instead. I was reading on, on I don't know what website I was, I reckon it was on a Gardening Australia site or somewhere, gardening something anyway. And they were talking about using honey on their cuttings instead of rooting powder. And I thought, well, that's rather interesting. So then we might have to give that a try and see if we can get some blooming sticks to shoot roots because they got dipped in honey. Might make them all the sweeter, mightn't it? Ha ha. <laughs> That was a terrible joke, by the way. <laughs> Even the cameraman's not smiling. <laughs> right, so we'll see if we can pluck these little ladies out of here. Of course, ultimately, because we're doing this in the middle of the day, we're going to have to put our new box back with this box is, so all the girls come home from work and they know where they're meant to be. But I reckon we're just going to pop it down here on the ground, to, next to all to each other, and when we pull it apart, they can all run up the edge and into the next box. Just give them a little puff to pacify them. This is the fun part about beekeeping, you've got to, go to have good knees. <laughs> they haven't got a lot of honey store, but anyway, they don't matter, they're full up. So <laughs> if they stay in this little newt box, they'll run out of room and then they'll freak themselves out. And we don't want that. After they've all gone to all this trouble to get themselves organised. So while we move them out of this little box into their new home, we'll just have a bit of a look, make sure all the brood's good. That's a good first check. There goes a big old silver fish. Just be, just be careful that you don't do anybody an injury, especially the first one when they're a bit chock, because they can be a bit full up. And the last thing you want to do is bloom and do the queen of damage when you do this job, otherwise it's a bit pointless, isn't it? Because you all know the most important girl in the box is the queen, because without her, everybody's in strife. But the interesting thing is she's not totally in charge all by herself. It's really a bit of a democracy, apparently, according to researchers. Because it's not like our concept of royalty and the human system, where the Queen's all powerful. I mean, she's all important, and everybody knows she's important in this system. But she's definitely not all powerful, because it's, it's, um, it's group rule. If she starts to not perform real flash, or things aren't going the way everybody else wants in the box, she either she gets two options. She either gets to thin down a little bit and create a swarm and bugger off with some of her followers. Or, um, yeah, she just gets super sieges and that doesn't end well for her at all. So it's all about what's best for the colony, not necessarily what's best for the queen herself. Oh, well, that was rather interesting. Nice little bit of young larvae. They managed to lay a few drones, which is typical. <laughs> gentle, gentle, gentle does the job. No need to get excited. At least these ladies are nice and relaxed, so they might be good. If you can spot the boss, well, that's all well and good. But if not, as long as you can see where she's been, that's good enough. Otherwise, you could spend the whole afternoon here looking. We're going to be one short, I think. Can't count. <laughs> yeah, difficult, isn't it? They look pretty relaxed, so that's good. <laughs> Like I said, I still haven't seen it. That's a nice, nice pattern on that frame. A little few gaps and stuff, but that would have been what's hatched out already. She's doing a nice job. They must have been found something to eat. <laughs> one little last one here. Of course, they've all come running out the hole in the side of the box, which is great. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> Typical, they always seem to swarm into the most complicated little boxes. Mind you, if you go looking over there, there's a swarm that landed in an old stove, I think, so that could be fun. Oh, might need Mr. Muscles to help me lift that one. I don't know, is that going to need an extra one or is that just about right? Cool, that's looking pretty good. We just got to go and get one more frame. But now, just remember if you haven't actually spotted the Queen, Make sure that she hasn't blooming run out here on, on your leg or on the side of the box. I think she's still in there because they sound like she's still with them, but if you haven't spotted her on a frame that you're transferring, 
You just have to be a bit extra diligent about what's left in this box. Some running up the wall inside here, some clustering on the front, some stuck to me leg. And so you just gotta, yeah, just take a bit of extra care if you haven't seen her. If you've seen the queen, you can just chill out a little bit more and the, the other bees will figure out where the hell they are and they'll fly back and, and get back into the nest anyway. But if you lose your queen, of course, you lose a whole blooming month worth of activity because they've got to start again. Well, that's a bit silly. That's just a trick for young players. I'm just going to get up. I'm going to shake the bees off this leg and I'm going to go and get another frame and then we're going to sit the box up on that drum. I suppose I should just shake them in the new box, shouldn't I, if I can get up with them on my leg. Hello, everybody. Oh, shit, don't do that. <laughs> I don't think there was anybody important on my leg, but better to be safe than sorry when you haven't seen the boss. Right, now, a little bit of smoke in this box, and they might run up the edge of the box and into the new home. They all ran out the front instead of up the hill. <laughs> Typical. Oh, where are you, boss woman? Are you out here? It's not what we want. There's a hole in my bee box, dear Lila, dear Lila. There's a hole in my bee box. <laughs> With what shall I fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry? With what shall I fix it? I'm thinking with propolis, dear Liza. So where shall we get some propolis from? Well, I think we need a pine tree with some sap. We'll just chew it all up and stick it in the holes and keep the weather out. Or perhaps a human will come along and give us a better home to live in that doesn't have a hole in the buck. Ah, oh, shivers. <laughs> just another little bit flew off the back. I think this poor little newt box has seen better days. Maybe it's a bit like me. Just a little bit worn out. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I had great plans that I was going to sit it in front of there, but now I've managed to get some around the back as well. All right, so we'll just pop that out of the way. I'm just going to put the box opening just back here a little bit while we go and get the frame. Ugh. I don't think these girls can fly because they're just little, well, they probably can, but they don't want to because they're just little nurse bees at this stage. So you see them run in, see if we put it there like that. So we just get them to run in a bit more. Just saves you losing them anyway. They're all over here in the grass a bit too. And of course the ones that want to fly, when you smoke them, they'll fly off and look at them all orientating back to where they think they live. The ones that are nurse bees, or God forbid bid the queen sitting out here, at least you can run up the box and just walk back in and you won't have lost anybody. Hopefully she's not down there. Otherwise <laughs> that will suck. <laughs> That's pop goes the weasel, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder what a weasel, what is a weasel anyway? It's probably something that's not real friendly. Some sort of animal. I'm guessing it's an animal, thank you for your commentary. <laughs> No, we don't have weasels here in Oz. I don't, think, I don't know. Well, I think this is one of those silly boxes that's not quite 10 and it's not quite 8. It's sort of somewhere in between. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a little bit like a teenager, isn't it? It's not really an adult, not really a child. It's somewhere in between. I don't know. Why would you make nine frame boxes? Anyway, they did. And here we are. <laughs> so we'll just wriggle them back across a little bit. Give them all a little bit more room, I guess. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Cool, and then we're just gonna pop them back up on the drum where they lived. So you can see that all the field bees are coming back here and wondering where their home is. And um, yeah, one would hope. They come whizzing in the door and think, look at that. Oh, it's the great reveal. Oh, no, no, it's a Bush Bee Man house renovation. <laughs> oh, what are you chicks doing down there on that lid? That's not blooming helpful. <laughs> oh, we'll just pop the lid on. I'm not really sure whether it's worth the aggravation or not, but we might put some frames back in that little newt box and sit it over the tree over here a bit further. You never know. It's a bit late in the season, but we might catch a little one. And well, anyway, what's the worst thing that can happen? It's got, it's a little bit beshabbled, so it won't really be put back in the yard anyway. So I don't think I'd want to be putting a proper split in it. Talking about splits, we could probably have a look at that too, couldn't we? Have a crack at that. Go over the yard, we'll do a split for you. Oh, golly. 
Look at that. It's even got a beer in there for me. Nah. <laughs> oh, well. There you have it. A bit of remastering. The ladies look happy over there behind the cameraman. I'm happy because they're happy. You know, what is, that? what is that old saying? Happy wife, happy life. Sure to gets down to happy bees, happy life around here. <laughs> Whew. Well, at least, at least bees that don't hate me too much. <laughs>